people, but I still, Eric, I still run into young people, even people who are into the internet, who look at a radio and they go, oh my God, you can talk to people around the world on that? Yes, I can. Want to see? <laughs> Do you have neighborhood kids that show an interest in ham radio where you are? Um, we do have neighborhood kids. It's been a long time since I mentored anybody. Uh, my wife has a license. Uh, she was licensed also in the Philippines. The software that comes on it, I'll make a video about the screen, the keyboard, the accessories, the cooler I bought for it, all these sorts of things. So you can basically put yourself in my shoes like you already own it, see if you like it or not. So that's why I made that video and like the next 70 videos for those things related to the laptop. How does it feel to go back that you'd love for our listeners to walk away with? Yeah, so when you're manipulating audio and trying to get audio to sound good, the main thing that you need to make sure of is you need to know what you're hearing. So mm. you just can't play audio through any speaker and know what it sounds like. Maybe the speaker is really bassy, or maybe you're wearing earbuds or headphones that are really trebly. Uh, I'd have to look the picture. Probably 20 open mics plus the um, all the 58s that were on the, the brass and then the percussion mics. We had five percussionists in that in that uh, group. Uh, xylophone. The 90s, when I first used them, I used to do a uh, poor game best the for the New York Harlem Theater like, production. And we had a 90 piece orchestra, 60 piece choir, 16 leads. Uh, the leads were mic, the choir was just a group mic, so I only had about six mics on the uh, I'm sorry, six mics on the choir, uh, overhanging uh, in scenes, and about six to ten mics on the orchestra. And I just remember the first time I used D and B, and I just they're so musical sounding. Um, so they're very popular over there because they're, uh, I think I just, they're Germany. Correct me if I'm wrong. Could be Swiss D and B or Germany. They're just fantastic. I was just running to this because I was the only machine I had podcasting. Label the cables. Um, it's uh, it's a console that I prefer. I am probably going to change so over to Digico yeah, so this year yeah, because yeah, they're becoming a novice. You're, you're All right, gentlemen, I'm going to run through these quickly. I'm going to run through these ideas. I'm not going to mention who's 